we walked into the mountains all morning. He carefully repeated that the most important aspect of my endeavor was to find some holes, and said that inside them a sorcerer could find all sorts of messages and directions. Don Juan warned me against closing my eyes. I began to listen, and I could distinguish the whistling of birds, the wind rustling in the leaves, the buzzing of insects. As I placed my undivided attention on those sounds, I could actually make out four different types of bird whistlings. I could distinguish the speeds of the wind in terms of how slow or fast. I could also hear the different rustlings of three types of leaves. I was immersed in a strange world of sound as I had never been in my life. For some reason, my attention was focused on the large hole in the hills. I had a strange surge in my body. I felt an overflow of power. I was not looking or hearing as I was accustomed to doing. I felt I was hearing it, and at the same time, looking at it. I was doing something which was entirely different, but combined features of both. I began seeing the sounds as they created patterns, and then all the patterns became superimposed on the environment. I wanted to move my head to the side to stop the vision, but I could not do it. At that crucial instant, a thought came to my mind. I knew what Don Juan meant when he spoke of items of a path with heart being the shields. There was something I wanted to do with my life. Something very consuming and intriguing. Something that filled me with great peace and joy. I felt that my head was about to explode. I stood up and put the palms of my hands to my ears. Don Juan helped me walk to a very small stream. He said that the holes in the sounds were used by sorcerers to find out specific things. Everything is meaningful for a sorcerer. The sounds have holes in them, and so does everything else around you. Ordinarily, a man does not have the speed to catch the holes, and thus he goes through life without protection. The bugs, the birds, the trees, all of them can tell us unimaginable things if we only had the speed to grasp their message. We must be on good terms with all the living things of the world. This is the reason why we must talk to plants we are about to kill and apologize for hurting them. The same thing must be done with the animals we are going to hunt. We should only take enough for our needs. Otherwise, the plants and the squirrels and the snakes we have killed would turn against us and cause us disease and misfortune. A warrior is aware of this and strives to appease them. So when he peers through the holes, the spiders, the birds, the trees, give him truthful messages. <laughs>